So anyway, because it, it's like a secret and it's, you know, I like this one-sided conversation where I'm talking and I'm explaining my feelings, but I can't have somebody ask me questions about it. It, yeah. Everything. You will forget. Yeah. I will be fine, but it's okay that it's not fine. This will become the past. I'm editing this video probably. You know, I'll know this is the past. The future will be fine. I wonder if I'll upload this <laughs> to- why would I upload this to my channel? I don't know. Ugh. I never went to the pumpkin patch with my friends because we just couldn't get it together so we gave up. So Halloween is not my thing this year. If I haven't already said that in the vlog, I'm saying it. Halloween is not my thing this year. I'm just not... It's not giving me the thrill so I'm ready for Christmas instead. <laughs> what was I going to talk about? I was trying to film this to talk about something, but I took a nap for like an hour and a half and now I don't remember what I was going to chat about in the vlog today. I already said at the beginning of this vlog I know somewhere where I was talking about it that I was like, it's fine, we're moving on. I don't want to do anything, but I'm also not mad and I'm not really sad anymore, only a little bit, but also not. It's I'm at this point where I'm just kind of like... Maybe I don't feel anything. I don't know. It's just like one of those situations where you don't get what you want anyway, so I'm not wanting anything because it's not really happening, but it's a weird thing. It's a weird thing. Like, what's the point releasing my energetic hold on it, I guess, or mental hold? Like, I'm getting my life back together. I'm now at least I'm coming back to some balance for myself, understand that, that was the past and so it's just what it is and it can just exist as what it was and whatever right now that it is and it's there's nothing to there's nothing to do, nothing to hold on to, nothing to try for. It's just it just is. It's a weird thing. Does that make any sense? You know, rambling on about it. I just woke up from a nap, okay? That's that's my excuse for whatever I just said. Probably just it'll be like that and it'll
think it's good enough, right? Like, get this, and it will maybe look like it's blending in and stuff. Let's see. I mean, it's not too terrible. I actually think it looks kind of cool. I don't know. Because then, there's a lot of conditioner in it right now, so it's like weird. But I'm going to take a shower, and then I'm going to look at this. Wow. It's the new look, guys. The new look. I'm going to take a shower, and then... We'll see, but I'm not doing anything else to it, so this is it for now, and then we'll grow it out, probably. Like, we'll just let it, um, god, there's so much hair everywhere. The sides will grow out, and we'll just go back to normal hair. Unless I can get a boyfriend right now who can do this for me. So, that's the plan. Okay, this is my hair the next morning. So I took a shower last night. And last night, the way that it looked was different because I had all of that conditioner in there. But this is it right now. It's very puffy up top because that's usually what happens after a shower anyway. But um, I think it's so freaking cool, actually. Like, it's kind of good that I wasn't able to do it perfectly because it kind of blends it well, I think, with the rest of the hair. So this side, there's a lot more hair on this side, so it's hanging over, but I think this turned out to be very, very cool. I think it's very cool, and when I wear my beanie for work later, it'll end up flattening down, but yeah. I think it's super cool. I don't know what it looks like, though. Like, it's, it's giving me... It's giving me kind of trashy vibes, but, <laughs> but like trashy motorcycle vibes, but like, I think it's freaking cool. So, I don't care. I, I think it works. I think I can pull it off. I think it looks pretty cool. And then, so this will just keep getting longer. We'll grow this out. I don't know if I'll be able to do it again, but maybe. I like that there's still a lot of hair on the back. So it's not all gone, you know? It's just, just this section. Still so much back here. Still got a lot of hair on me. Anyway, we'll check in later if it looks any different. I actually think that there's a movie with Robert Downey Jr. in it where he has hair like this. So that's what I think I might be thinking of. So if I can find that, if that's true, then I'll put a picture. Three. What's up, man? Like music? Uh, yeah, I like music. Yeah? Yeah. Want to come see my band tonight? Sure. Where? <laughs> mm hmm. I'll be there. Good. I know it's a story. Mm hmm. <laughs> How you doing? Where the hell did you get Nick's car, man? This bro called my bro. <laughs> Want him to come pick it up, but he wasn't home, so here I am. Your pants are still dry. It's... Hmm. Here, let me give you a ride. I think I'd like to drive. Don't you trust my driving expertise? Okay. Right. okay, this lighting might be too crazy. The sun is right on me, sort of, I mean on the car. So this might not work for a shot, but I just treated myself a little bit. And also, I thought that I wasn't gonna vlog anymore, but I might take a break from vlogging and just become a booktuber. So the vlogs will be like my vlogs, but talking about books maybe, because I actually like watching other people talk about books and maybe I'll enjoy talking about books and 
Oh yeah, that one vlog that I, I put in the title of that one vlog. I'm a booktuber and I was joking, but maybe, maybe I really will be a booktuber. This morning, I just finished writing the big paper that I had to write for my senior class. So that's done and now I kind of don't have to stress about things anymore at the moment for a while. Or there's less stressful things coming up. And so now that the paper's done, I kind of wanted to just chill and treat myself. So I bought a lot of books. I went to a cute little bookstore. I didn't go to Barnes and Noble like I usually do. I went to this bookstore in this shopping mall. Okay, so let me show you what I got. So I got this. I've never heard of this writer before, Anne Carson. This is Glass, Irony, and God. It just, it caught my eye. God always catches my eye and it just looked really cool. And I guess it says, um, Anne Carson's poetry characterized by various reviews as short talks, essays, or verse narratives combines the confessional and critical in a voice all her own. Known as a remarkable classicist, Anne Carson in Glass, Irony, and God weaves contemporary and ancient poetic strands with stunning style. This collection includes the glass essay, blah, blah, blah. I don't know what I'm saying, but basically, it just sounded good. Like, I guess she's very educated on classic writing and poetry. I got that. Then I spotted this book because that, the um, spine looked really cool to me. What is it? 2666. Oh my God. I didn't know it said 666 in the title. <laughs> well, it's fine. The devil has no power over me. Okay, so 2666, 2666 by Roberto Bolaño. Uh, I believe he is a Chilean writer and this is um, translated. Let me see if I know if that's correct. He is from Santiago, Chile. Apparently he's a very successful writer and all of his work is in Spanish and then they've been translated. This one, I believe must have been translated, right? I've never heard of him, I just spotted this. Is it translated? Yep, translated from Spanish. So, it just looked super cool. And the story also seems intriguing to me. It says, three academics on the trail of a reclusive German author and New York reporter on his first Mexican assignment, a widowed philosopher, a police detective in love with an elusive older woman, these are among the searchers drawn to the border city of Santa Teresa. That's not how you say it. Where, over the course of a decade, hundreds of women have disappeared. I love this kind of stuff. I don't read a lot of fiction books nowadays, and I don't read a lot of um, detective. I don't think I've ever read a detective novel or anything like that. But I love those in film. In movies, I love the dark murder mystery, like, um, out trying to find the serial killer. I like stuff like that. So this sounds right up my alley if it was a movie. So I figured as a book, it'd be freaking awesome. So I bought that. And then I was looking at this author's other books because then I realized, oh, he's written a lot of stuff and I've never heard of him. And he, it looks like he knows what he's doing. So I picked up his most successful novel, what I assumed from, I think this was his first book. I just like guessed all this by looking at like the back of this or whatever. So this is By Night in Chile by Roberto Bolaño. So it was his first novel that was ever published in English. So it says, which is very, very interesting, and it's very, very short. It says, a hypnotic deathbed confession revolving around Opus Dei, poetry, and P Pinochet by night in Chile pours out the self-justifying dark memories of the Jesuit priest, Father Urrutia. As through a crack in the wall, Urrutia's night-long rant provides a terrifying clandestine view of those strange Chilean bedfellows, church and state. I don't know what that means, but it sounds very, very interesting. So I picked it up. Now these are random other things that I got. So they're cookbooks, and can we talk about how beautiful cookbooks are nowadays? 
oh my god the covers are always like every single cookbook just catches my eye they're either just beautifully designed or also have delicious images on the front so anyway I grabbed this they had a great vegetarian cookbook section and I need to get back into cooking because last year I was cooking a lot and then this year I have not cooked like at all Anyway, I grabbed this. This is Occasionally Eggs, Simple Vegetarian Recipes for Every Season by Alexandra Dom. Can you see that past my... I'm not sure how these books are looking with that sun right here, but the cover was beautiful. There's the back. I love the dark, the darkness. I love that always. Oh my God, just look at that. Look at that. Just the food photographers are like having the best time of their lives with these cookbooks nowadays. It's just... Basically, this is just vegetarian recipes that look so delicious. Strawberry elderflower ginger beer floats. Oh my, ah, okay. I am so hungry. So this just looked amazing and I snatched it up. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful book as well. Then I got another Otolengi book. This, so his name is Yotam. Otolengi, I don't know how to say his name. I believe he is um, Israeli, but I think he's a chef in London. I have one of his books, Plenty is what it's called, and it is a vegetarian cookbook. And I've made a lot of recipes from that, and it's amazing. Some recipes I just failed at, but some that I was successful at tasted so freaking good. And this, like I've been wanting to buy all his other cookbooks, but then this caught my eye. This is a dessert book. Isn't that amazing? It's called Sweet. It looks freaking beautiful. Look at the back. Look at those images. Jesus Christ. I just, I was looking at the desserts cookbooks because I don't have a dessert book. Is that what you call it? I don't have a cookbook for like sweets and desserts and things. And I don't have a major sweet tooth, to be honest. I can't have a lot of sugar, it makes me feel kind of sick. But I do want to get into baking. That's what it is, a baking? A baking is what it is, I don't know. I want to get into baking. Anyway, I wanted to get a dessert book. And then this one is the best one I found, like straight up. I don't even like chocolate, but I almost would like eat that just to try it. Maybe this could make me like chocolate. Oh my God, just look at this. I don't even know what that is freaking amazing I just know because this guy is so good with flavor and he makes such unique recipes that I just know these would be incredible so that's my haul ended up being very very expensive but I am not gonna stop buying books dude if books end up costing $50 in the future I think it's worth the investment right books are just so addictive anyway I'm stopping now I'm sorry that's my book haul anyway I'm going it's been a while since I've vlogged. I don't know what I'm doing with my channel anymore, but I think my hair looks good today, so that's why I wanted to record something. I'm kind of growing it out, but I'm also not sure what I'm doing with that. There's a lot of things that I'm not really sure how they're going to end, or like, I don't know how things are gonna go. That's kind of the situation right now in my life. like. It's all unclear where the destination is, but I don't, I'm not worried about it. I am just going along for the ride, but I just wanted to film this because I like my hair. There's nothing for me to talk about at all. Oh, it's December. It's December 1st actually, but I don't, I'm not trying to like make a December vlog. I don't know what this is. What could I talk about at all? There's really nothing. I am going to graduate in a couple days, I guess. It'll be like, oh my God, is it like a week and a half? Or is that two weeks? I guess like two weeks from now is the graduation. So that's why I'm saying I don't know what's going to happen moving forward. We'll see. I, I trust that everything's gonna go how it should go. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> I think I'm okay, but some things um, I'm kind of unsatisfied with certain things, but I'm okay. Like, I think I'm doing well. Like, 
I'm feeling pretty healthy. I'm feeling better than I did at the beginning of the year. I had some weird health things. So I'm feeling like, I mean, praying that this keeps up, but I'm feeling pretty good. Mentally, it's back and forth, it's different. And other than that, I'm really doing okay, I think. I'm just not sure what's about to happen. So that's what we're kind of going with right now. Things are just a little bit uncertain right now. Oh, and there's so many things I want. There's things I want, but I can't have all those things that I want, which is okay and that's normal. And I'm fine with it. Like I've accepted things that can't be changed, but the things that can be changed, I'm working on it. But I'm just kind of like, maybe it's just me in general. I'm always like restless for something more. So anyway, nothing more to say. That's just me checking in. Now I'm shutting this down. This either this video is over or this clip is over. And that's it. I don't have I literally don't have anything else to say. Well, okay. Um I need the next phase of my life to start now. 